What's up, everybody? It's Matt with uh, remove-malware.com. And uh, tonight, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Malwarebytes 1.31. I'm going to take a look at its prevention abilities. Um, I personally use Malwarebytes every single day, multiple times a day, for removing malware, which it does a fantastic job at. So um, let's go ahead and uh, throw about 10 URLs at it, malicious URLs, and let's see what it can do with them. Of course, we're looking for, you know, a perfect score, but um, sometimes nothing is perfect. But wouldn't change my opinion about Malwarebytes. This thing is amazing at removing malware. I'm just kind of curious in how it prevents. All right. Let's bring up my first URL. I've got a couple new ones uh, from today as well. Some of these may not work. Um, just because they go in and out, you know. Okay, malware bytes caught that one as a Trojan dot bho. We'll terminate it. Uh, second URL. Uh, not found. Let's try my third URL. Crashed Internet Explorer. Normally, if malware gets through, I'll see some kind of process load. Um, however, I don't see anything yet. Normally. Okay, um, Malwarebytes caught this particular URL. It's a trojan.dropper. Terminate it. Okay, so that's two for two. Okay, Malwarebytes caught this one. This is spyware.onlinegames. Terminate it. Now, let's go ahead and throw the latest uh, rogue, rogue uh, anti-malware against Malwarebytes and see if they can prevent it from installing. I remember yesterday uh, I threw this rogue at Drive Sentry and Drive Sentry detected it and prevented it from installing. So let's take a look. We're up uh, three for th three right now. This would be a rogue. No, Malwarebytes doesn't detect Virus Remover 2008, at least this uh, binary of it. So, doesn't detect it in prevention. I know it detects it in removal. It's sort of weird. I don't really understand that. Maybe, maybe they can explain it to me. I know I can remove it with Malwarebytes, but not prevent it. So, anyway, that's loaded on my system now. Um, let's go ahead and try the latest, uh, Facebook, uh, worm, and that's Kubeface. And, uh, Malwarebytes finds it, and, uh, it's called backdoor.bot, according to them, and we'll go ahead and terminate it. All right, uh, last piece of piece of malicious links uh, in this set here. Hang on a sec. 
This is uh this would be number five. Well, hold on, let me count here. One, two, three, four, five or six. I lost track. Anyway, let's load it. I'm pretty. Yeah, it's five. Yeah. Okay, this is script loaded malware. Uh, I'm not seeing anything yet. Let's take a look at processes. Uh oh. Got some malware there. Uh oh. whole bunch of stuff here. Uh Internet Explorer processes being launched, all kinds of malware being loaded. It's all coming in. If you guys ever want to know how infected your machine, something like this this is what happens. You start getting uh these Trojans and they start cascading and downloading more and more and more. This is A five a7, A6, it's all kinds of random names. And uh, they're all loading here. Something uh, Malwarebytes missed. I'm not, sure I'm not sure what it was. Tough to say. There's, there's too many different EXEs being loaded. Um, so... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hang on a second. I need to check my time. All right, I got a few minutes, but uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of uh, malware loaded on the system now from just one little URL. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start a new video. So that was uh, it's blocked five out of six so far. Let's go ahead and try four more URLs. Go ahead and restore the virtual machine too. I'll be right back.